Wow, psychedelic anyone? <laughs> Check this out. I am breaking some rules in this episode of Blooms For You. Welcome everybody to episode 10. I really appreciate having you here. And I said in my last episode that I was only dedicating bloom clusters to the subscribers and then spreading the love. Well, I have decided by executive order with the committee of one at Ninja Orchids to have Hibiki for the subscribers for the foreseeable future so that the other blooms I can spread around as they come. And then this way we can see how Hibiki gets better and better and better because now we've got more clusters opening and they're looking fabulous. I can see them very easily in the shade. The minute I put it in the sun, I'm just going, yeah, my eyes, my eyes. This hot pink with that orange inside, yo, takes some adjusting once you put it in the sun. <laughs> So everybody, welcome. I really appreciate having you here. And my hibiki, as it starts to bloom out continuously, goes to all of you that watch this video. And you know the deal as a thank you. I will never stop saying thank you. I will never stop saying asante sana. I will never stop saying merci beaucoup and all these kinds of languages that I'm trying to learn as I personalize my little appreciation clips for you. Let's have a look what we have found this time. Mary G, such a pleasure to have you here on my channel. Thank you so very much for being here, for your kind comments. And speaking of comments, you mentioned in episode 9 of Blooms For You that you liked the Tabasco text and in general, you really like species fowls. So guess what? Tabasco Tex is just in time to open the first bloom on her second spike. And I think this is perfect. Perfect, considering how specific I can target your likes to give you a bloom that you will hopefully enjoy as your own. This is the first spike over here. And this morning she dropped her first bloom the second one is still going strong. We have another bud coming. But Mary, second spike, first bloom. Tabasco Tex blooms for you. Thank you so very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now, if you remember the fragrance, I said that it was really, really sweet. It's getting stronger every time another blooms opens. And it is that sweet thing, but the Tabasco, the hint of chili is in the back. And I really like that. I do like my sweet chili aromas also in cooking. <laughs> sweet and chili goes well together for me. Chocolate and chili, yum, you know. But okay, let's not deviate on the, to the food issues. Mary, thank you very, very much for your support. Tabasco Tex, second spike, first bloom, all yours. Flins, F-L-Y-N-S. I hope you're still with me because I saw your comment back when I was talking about my delinquent Neos. And I thought, well, how about this then to dedicate this Neophenicia falcata first spike to you? Because you did say that my delinquents were nice looking plants and I was not quite of the same opinion in that video. But anyway, thank you for that very kind comment. Now this one is what I do consider a nice plant because it has been growing beautifully for me this year. And I have three spikes on the go. So you can see there's the second one coming now. And then there's a dinky dinky little third one right there, which is very welcome. But Flynn, the first spike of my Neo Falcata is dedicated to you. So thank you so very, very much for being on my channel. And anyone and everyone who loves Neos knows that their fragrance is this charming, charming 
citrusy, very light in the falcata case, but it is very fresh and has a very pleasant aroma. And for me, it comes out late afternoon. So Flynn's, thank you very much once again. I hope that you see this video. I appreciate having you here. Have a wonderful day. Isn't she pretty? Well, let me tell you that last year when she bloomed for the first time for me, I was like, um, this is not what I bought. But now that she's here again, I'm happy to have her. I bought her as a KTC Kao Kichat Kut, and it is crossed with Cornigia, but I think that I have a full-on Cornigia here. There is no cross that I can detect at all, and it certainly does not resemble the blooms on the website from Schwerter, but this one is gorgeous and has really, really grown on me. And Ryan Millet, or Rian Millet, you showed up on one of my topical pest control videos. And I am hoping that maybe since then you have tried it out and that it has worked for you because nothing worse than getting some kind of little infestation and not being able to deal with it quickly. So if you see this video, would you mind just letting me know if it worked or if you have any further questions? In the meantime, back to the subject. What I believe to be a full-on Cornigia. This one blooms for you, Ryan Millet, as a thank you for being on my channel, for your support, for your comment, question, all the good things that I enjoy interacting so look at this just one more little thing before look at this lip it is so fuzzy it is so cute i absolutely love it let's get some focus going there we go thank you so very much ray and millet i really appreciate having you here I really enjoy YouTube names because sometimes they just tell you exactly what it says on the tin. Svetlana has just nice orchids. It doesn't get any easier than that. So if you haven't been to Svetlana's channel, then I suggest you go and have a look because it's true. Svetlana has just nice orchids. And Svetlana has been very kind leaving so, so encouraging comments. Thank you so much, Svetlana. And here is Prostechia cochleata. Yes, actually it's my Epidendrum lancifolium, but let's just try and stay correct. And um, meanwhile, I have been informed otherwise. And uh, this is Prostechia cochleata. Either way, she is gorgeous and it's her third spike. So Svetlana, just nice orchids. I hope that you think that she is nice and a suitable candidate to say thank you so much to you. I can tell you that I absolutely adore this orchid as well because her fragrance is heavy and strong. And what's not to like when blooms are so itty bitty like this and yet they can fill an entire blooming alley which is outdoors when they permeate their fragrance. I love it. Thank you, Svetlana, ever, ever so much. I really appreciate having you on my channel and I look forward to your next video. Have a wonderful day. Dimethyl glioxim. I am so proud of myself that that came out without a hiccup. I've been practicing it 
but I can't find your comment either from when you showed up on my channel the first time, so forgive me for not being able to make a reference. But here is Neo Phoenicia, possibly peaches, but it was sold to me as Rainbow Forest, so that's what I'll stick with for now. Dimethylglioxin. Maybe I should have done my homework and googled what that would possibly mean, but I have no clue. It would, however, really interest me that if you see this video, would you please let me know? I'm fascinated. YouTube names for me are something like, what is behind it? Why did they come about? And it always, you know, piques my curiosity. So if you see this video, first of all, know that you're very appreciated. I loved seeing you here. I hope you're still around and possibly you can enlighten me. What does dimethylogloxin mean? And I probably just now said that wrong again because it is quite a tongue twister, but I am going to put it in the description just in case I say it wrong and you do not recognize that this is about you. So thank you very, very much. I hope that you like my little rainbow forest spike. The second one blooms for you as an appreciation the fact that you've made yourself known on my channel and I want to recognize and say thank you. So I sincerely hope to see you in the comments and then maybe I can understand what your channel name means. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day. Maria Pina, look what I have here with your name on it. This is my second bloom of the Phragmopedium Garen Weaver. It opened two days ago and I let it grow a little bit its little tendrils here before filming it and before they kind of dry out because you can see the first bloom's tendrils are already quite long but due to the lack of humidity in my climate they are drying out at the tips. So before that happens to the second bloom, Maria Pina, thank you very, very much for being on my channel. I saw your name somewhere. I cannot find the comment that refers to where I saw your name, but I do hope that you like by Garen Weaver, at least the blooms. The plant may not exactly be the epitome of fabulous growing techniques. I have learned a lot. Unfortunately, this candidate has taught me a lot and it's sad that I couldn't do better, but I'm not tidying it up at all because I want to see the difference between clean new leaves coming out based on my current care as opposed to what you see here based on my previous care, which clearly was not conducive to a happy frag. However, Darren Weaver forgave me. And I have a third bud on the way back there. And in the meantime, I can say thank you, Maria, so much for everything, for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. And Darren Weaver blooms for you. The next name I think is quite, quite fitting and it speaks to my heart and is called Beauty of Orchids and Plants. That pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? And then when you look at my Phalaenopsis corner survey variety Chateladay, I think Beauty of Orchids and Plants, you're the best candidate in my eyes for this third bloom of my, what I call Lady Chateladay. And this morning I woke up to a dropped bloom. However, number three opened to grace us with her beauty. But look how a faded Chateladay bloom looks. I still think that is in its own right, very, very beautiful. So beauty of orchids and plants. I appreciate so much your support on my channel. 
Unfortunately, I can't find the comment where you showed up and which video. I can't make a reference to that, so I do apologize very, very much. However, if you see this video, know that your name came up. It's on the list and it came up now on the list. And then Lady Chatterley opened up and I thought, beautiful, perfect. And I will never ever get tired of what I consider to be that cheeky, cheeky grin. There's the two eyes up there, little nose, and then that white lip forms that smile. And a little yellow bop hat to boot. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Beauty of orchids and plants. I really appreciate having you here. And I hope that you see this video and know that you have been acknowledged and your presence is very much welcome. Selogeny Lime Bay, the one that keeps on giving. Since November 19, she has been in bloom. Honeybees and Orchids, a channel that is teaching me a lot and showing me just how ignorant I am about bees as such. And I confuse them with wasps. So thank you, Michael, so much for keeping me informed and for showing what bees are actually capable of. Now, I didn't, I never thought they were stupid and I know that they're important and I think they're marvelous and wonderful. But as you can clearly tell, I'm fascinated by your content. I am also very grateful when you can correct me that I'm thinking it's a wasp because we do have wasps here. And then actually it's a honeybee. So I, I'm glad I don't swat anything away. Everything, I make sure to let it get on with it and then fly away at leisure. Yep, 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 yep. This, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going off on a tangent. So this is Sologeny Lime Bay, but this is not what I'm here about, even though this is a dedication to you because this bloom was given away. It's not the 12th bloom yet, but I'm gonna have to do something here to show you which one is yours. Look at that. Sologeny Lime Bay, second spike, first bloom. Michael, my goodness. This is exciting for me. I am so happy I can give this bloom to you because I have always, always wanted a Sologeny Lime Bay with two spikes and success. I can say I've done it. It's very difficult to film, but look at that. All right, it looks a little bit wonky. <laughs> Can't ask for everything because I would love to have now, you know, kind of, you, you always think of the next thing. Well, they could be the same length, but, but hey, two spikes. But here's the one for you, Michael, as a thank you for being on my channel, for supporting my videos with your comments and for your educational content on your channel. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And I really, I mean it. I love your content. I'll see you on your next video. I'm going to do something that always used to irritate my dad <laughs> when I was little. I made up the rules as I went along or I changed them or I broke them, whatever suited me at any given point in time. So yes, I'm gonna break my own rules, but I think it's very, very important to thank people that don't necessarily hang out on YouTube all the time, but they do let us into their greenhouses via another YouTuber. And for me, that is so special as being somewhat of a person who likes to be very private myself. Um, I find that very special. It's an awesome treat. So I know her name, but I don't want to say it here on YouTube, but I'm sure Ed from Ed's Orchids, you know what you're looking at? Yep, my Coilostylus ciliaris. I know you have one and I know it hasn't bloomed for you yet. Well, mine has just bloomed her first two blooms. And I would like to dedicate these two blooms to your lady friend, Ed. 
if you would be so kind when you see this video, which I hope that you do, to pass this message on to her and to thank her for allowing you to film in her greenhouse so that we can all share in her marvelous, marvelous collection and the blooms as they come. I always feel so blessed when I see people's greenhouses. I think it is so very kind, especially when they're not on YouTube. So to your lady friend, I want to say thank you so very much. For me, it's always a pleasure, always a joy. My coilo stylus, silly iris, blooms for you as a thank you. And I love these blooms. I have mine in just lava rock in a semi-hydro setup. There is no ceramus, no nothing in there, just a little water reservoir. But it's taken two years from when I got her to bloom. I just love this orchid. I love the growth habit, the upright growth habit. There's no need to be maneuvering the plant around in order for the growth to stay upright. Standing to attention. And these blooms clearly are very epidendromy, if that is a word. And I've had so many similar blooms over the last weeks bloom for me like this. I just can't get enough of them. Honestly, I cannot. So I am making this a little bit longer because it is for somebody who is not so much on YouTube and also because I really, really appreciate the opportunity to be able to go inside the greenhouses. And Ed, thank you so much for doing that filming for us. These kinds of blooms for me are always, always like a little fairy transportation system. If they didn't have wings, or if they got tired and didn't want to fly anymore, they would hop on the back here and that would be their transportation system, holding on to here and off we go. I love these blooms. And yes, they are gorgeously fragrant. Again, I'm just going to say it, it's very citrusy, almost like the, what do you call the candied citrus that you put into fruit cakes. That, I forget their names now but there's a certain name for that. But that's what these smell like. And they opened, one has been open four days and the second one just opened two days ago. You can see it's not quite decided whether it wants to let go of its lip there. But aren't they beautiful? So Ed, please let your lady friend know that I thank her ever, ever so much for opening up her greenhouse to the rest of us. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And that concludes my current episode of Blooms For You, which I hope that you enjoyed seeing what's going on. What I'm actually currently busy doing is harvesting keikis, yes. It's cakey harvesting season on many, many orchids. And you know, they don't wait until Thanksgiving. They just need to be done when they need to be done. So I already moved one cakey from my hibiki here. The second one, I'm still waiting for those roots to be a little bit longer before I attack it. But I will not leave them on this year as long as I did last year. So cakey harvesting season, blooms enjoyment season summer sun enjoy season what's not to love everybody i hope that you have a wonderful day please continue to remain safe and i appreciate you being here and i'll see you next time bye